got the front the front tire needs to spin no there you go there you hit the di differential lock and then it came out no fish nick here it is march 2nd and today is uh ice shack recovery day i'm going to go help my brother-in-law roy pull his permanent ice shack off a small lake uh near our hometown here um now this the area we're going uh we both had we had have had bad luck there roy's uh there's a big hill that we have to go up right at the lake and uh, a couple years ago roy had a brand new truck and he was pulling a trailer and um he he couldn't get up the hill and the, the whole truck and trailer slid back and and he damaged his brand new truck so and then this year when we we're pulling that permanent shack out onto the ice i blew up my four-wheeler so <laughs> This place is a pretty dangerous spot, so, uh, but we got to get the ice shacks off, and we're going to go see what we can do. Uh, we got another, like, five, six inches of snow last night, um, you know, but I can't really complain about snow here in Wisconsin because my brother, my brother Mark, he lives up in Munising, Michigan, and I saw some pictures of his house and his cabin, and I'm not going to complain about the little bit of snow we have here. So, all right, let's go give her hell and uh, get that uh, ice shack off the... We'll get that ice shack off that lake today. We'll try anyway. All right, we're gonna go drift busting, see if we can get the Kubota stuck. I'm gonna go, there's some really big, there's some really big snow drifts back here. And uh, we're gonna go play around a little. You don't know until you test it out. Picked up a passenger. Got stuck right on top of a, of a drift, mega high drift. Oh Jesus! Right to my crotch. Just a minor delay here as we get her from being high centered on the top of the the drift. There you go. There, you hit the di differential lock, and then it came out. Okay, coming up on the road. He's going down into the pond. That's up to you, my friend. <laughs> you be thick we're going, we're going over the pond. Here we go. Oh, Hang on. Okay. Actually, it wasn't too bad. We're on ice right now. It's like ten feet deep back there. No. Oh. A little slush. We had all that rain too. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Back up we go. Hope we've got the diff lock in. Here we go. Up the hill. <laughs> Good job. Meat over. machine. And then Roy put a, uh, a heater that runs off a of diesel in it. The kind of uh, heaters that like semi trucks have. Yep, there's more mirror going. And the heater just runs off 12 volts and diesel fuel. It's a dumper too. This thing dumps, so it's quite the little work truck. It's like 
Okay, made it to the lake. Definitely uh, had some four wheel driving getting in here. So far I've been able to do it without the chains. My adre adrenaline's popped. <laughs> My adrenaline's going pretty good. That was a hell of a ride. I didn't have the camera going. I went down and back up. I did hit some slush out by his shack. Uh, got stuck for a minute, but we worked through it. Okay, Roy right, boy. Right. You better hang on. By <laughs> <laughs> the time we put this Nissan to the test. Oh, yeah. She did good so far. Hey, well, you're laughing. The Fords and the Dodges sit up on top here. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Take notice. Believe what you see, not what you hear. All right, hang on. This is the worst part. It's right here. It keeps kicking me that way. Oh, oh, and then the trailer, uh, the trailer actually, uh, yeah, the trailer got hung up here. The first time through here, I had a hard time going down the hill because the sides of the trailer yep. are wider. Look at, you can see the sides of the trailer were wider than the trail. Yep. I'm glad someone cut the trailer. We wouldn't be going on at all. And then there, I hit the slush pretty good right in front of your shack and got stuck. Drop the trailer. You know, but someone did plow, so that's awesome. Yeah. There's a trail right to the shack. So that helps a lot. Yeah. But I gotta stay on this the right side of the shack because the slush got real bad right in front of your shack. Yeah. So um all right, I'll go to the right of the trailer. Yeah. Right here. Well, you turned around right on the road. Okay. Oh, I see where you fell in. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, More slush. Okay. Well, if you want to wait, let me try to back up. I'll watch. Okay. Roy's going to watch from the side. The front tires went down in the slush. Okay. All right. We're good. We'll leave it right there. Got to watch out for that slush. That's what, that's what gets you. I, I believe so. This is where I got stuck earlier. It dropped right down like a rocket. That was some poof. And I had the trailer on too when I did this. And then I backed up, jackknifed it a little bit, got it over to the side by hand. That's what's nice about a track vehicle. It rides up on top of everything where a, a wheeled truck drops through and gets into that slush layer where the Kubota, that thing's just gonna ride right on, on top. And, uh, I broke through just coming down here. It gets into that slush. Which, Jake, you weren't using the shack enough. What's that? You weren't out here enough. Oh, crap. If you'd use it more, the door wouldn't freeze together. Jake's lack, Jake hasn't used the shack in a while and she flooded out. Got two inches of ice on the floor. We have to break it up. Try not to ruin the floor. Look at that table. Yeah. Rolls it right in. I thought okay. I was standing in a safe corner. We <laughs> We were all standing in here, and I drilled the hole over there, and, and we got flooded out. And I'm not kidding. We were standing on, <laughs> on dry wood, or not dry, wet wood. And once I, once I uh, drilled that hole, this thing sprung a leak. And now we got like four inches of water in here. Is it still coming out? No, it's settled now. Okay, I am going to put out a tip up. Just uh, going to use a hot dog. Now, two years ago, we were on this lake, and uh, there's a tournament here, and there is tip ups all over on this lake. And I tried the hot dog. You know, I was hearing about hot dogs uh, working for Pike, so I did put one out. And out of the hundreds of tip ups that were out, I caught one of like three fish caught that day, three northerns. And it was on a hot dog, but it was undersized. It was like 25 incher and it had to be 26. So I, I did have to let it go, but hot dogs do work. Uh, most, um, if you look around YouTube, you'll see they've been working for quite a while. And uh, it's just an alternative to live bait. You know, just put, uh, put a hot dog down there with a the treble hook and away you go. Northern's like it. Just picked up uh, a fun dog at, at the local quick trip. Thank you.
cheap bait that works. Now the biggest problem with slush is it, it gets in in your rims and the ride home is horrible because your, your tires are all out of balance. So I'm cleaning out my tires right now and I'll probably have to do it again when I get out to the road I'm trying to keep my tires in balance. Good year at dirt tracks. They work really good in deep snow. I like them a lot. I'm trying to break out the ice shack. She got stuck in here pretty good. We gotta break it out. Drilled that hole and we swamped it out. Probably shouldn't have drilled the hole, but we're learning as we go. Drinking Bloody Mary's probably didn't help. <laughs> okay, update. We've been chipping. Now the water's uh, coming around, basically, basically making a moat. So it should hopefully help us free up this thing. It's warm out today. Tomorrow it's supposed to get cold, so we're trying to get her out, get her done today. Finally got the shack to break out. Jake had to shovel the roof. Now she's moving. Just using a bar and wood blocks. So she's gonna come out now. Yeah, I'll push up on the shack. Hey Jake. Rocket. There we go. There. I think we just freed the last corner. Okay, now we're hooking up the Kubota. I'm gonna try to pull the shack. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Don't hit my truck. Hey, don't hit my truck. Stop. Stop. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's gonna hit my truck. Yeah, yeah, just tell him to keep going, huh? Oh, yeah, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> hey, from, from, from my angle, it looked like you were gonna dig it out, man. Oh, man. Uh huh. Oh, man. Whew, that came right out. All right, good job, Jake. <laughs> Looks like we're sturgeon spearing. You can see the corner where the shack was. There's the, there's the hole over there that we, uh, yeah. Yeah, the rails are right there. The rails, the shack. That's the hole we drilled and it flooded the whole thing, which actually probably helped us actually in the long run. That hole, it's like a foot deep. Okay, we're wrapping it up, putting everything away. We're gonna, uh, the plan is to take the, the shack up on top of the hill, just connect it right to the Kubota. That's the plan. And then the Kubota will come back and grab the trailer. And then eventually the shack's gotta go on, the sh this shack's gotta go on that trailer over there. But right now we're just gonna try to get it up the hill with uh, towing it with the Gaboda. Here comes the, the ice shack. All right, see if she can do it. Uh oh. He's doing it, but barely. Cool. All right. Now she's got to make this corner. This corner is really narrow, and that shack's pretty wide. This is going to be tough right now. All right, cool. So far, so good. Awesome. Now they got deep snow. They're not out of it yet. 
there's really deep snow up there. Cool. All right. Yep, they're home free. Awesome. It's not over until it's over. Still have to put it on. Okay, watch out, boys. Got the electric winch. It's coming off. I'm going to hold it. Okay, Got to winch it up. There we go. Just got to tilt it down. Put the pin in. Once they put the pin in, we're good to go. What an adventure. We didn't catch any fish, but it was pretty fun, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. That's Once. it. That's it for today.